On Wednesday, the 17th of January 2019, Elder Statesman and former Governor of Oshun State, Chief Adebisi Akonde, celebrated his 80th birthday anniversary in grand style. Events lined up for the 80th birthday anniversary celebration of the great Oshun leader started with the Bisi Akonde Colloquium, themed Achieving National Unity Through Peaceful Restructuring. This was held at the Oladakbo Ogunlesi Multipurpose Hall, opposite UCH in Ibado. Chief Adebisi Akonde was born in Ilarogun on the 16th of January 1939. In 1971, as an officer of the British Petroleum, a Nigerian oil marketing company, the young Bisi Akonde was appointed by the military as a member of Ila Government Management Committee, and in 1976, he was elected unopposed as a councillor of Ishedo Ward 1 into Ila Local Government Council. In 1977, he was elected to represent Ila Udwatin Local Government Area in the Nigerian Constituent Assembly that wrote the 1979 Nigerian Constitution. It was at the Constituent Assembly, Chief Bisi Akonde met many Nigerian leaders like the late Shehu Shagari, Ibrahim Guso, Tatari Ali, Sam Mbakwe, Ayo Fasomi, among many others, who helped him build a successful political career. In April 1999, Chief Adebisi Akonde was elected Governor of Ashu State on the platform of the Alliance for Democracy, AD, which was formed as a political arm of the Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afeniferi. Dignitaries present at the Bisi Akonde Colloquium to mark his 80th birthday anniversary were the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Shibajo, who was the chairman of the occasion, APC National Leader Ashiwajibola Ahmed Tinumbu, former Governor of Ogun State, Chief Ulushagun Shoba, the host Governor, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, and wife, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, Governor of Ashun State, Mr. Gwegao Yetola, Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasseru El Rufai, Governor Kayode Fayemi of Ekiti State, his own those state counterparts, Arakuni Olaru Timiakiri Dulu, Ogo State Governor, Senator Ibukula Musun, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Idiato Lorante Adebule, represented the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kimumi Ambode, Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, other guests were the Lagos State APC governorship candidate in the 2019 election, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, APC governorship candidate in Oyo State, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, former governor of Ekiti State, Otumba Ni Adebayo, former governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Rau Farigbeshola, former deputy governor of Oshun State, Chief Mrs. Lao Yutomori, Ogun State Assembly, Right Honorable Adeni Ralagbada, former Senate President, Senator Kenan Namani, General Alani Akinri Ade retired, among other prominent Nigerians. The event formally started with the opening remarks of the host governor, the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, who showered praises on the celebrant, Chief Bisi Akonde, while describing him as a true leader. Senator Abiola Ajimobi stated that Chief Bisi Akonde is a role model that politicians must emulate, adding that Chief Bisi Akonde should be named the Nigerian leader of the century for his astonishing and distinct leadership qualities. The choice of the theme of this colloquium, Nigeria, achieving national unity through peaceful restructuring, underscores the fact that Baba Akonde remains one of the most authentic apostles of the late stage, Chief of Bafemi Awolowo, alive today. Coincidentally, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I believe you will agree with me that the path to nation, nationhood rests on what I call the essence of governance, which is creating opportunities for the citizens to try to realize their potential in an atmosphere of peace and tranquility. The All Progressive Congress our administration under President Muhammad Buhari has unleashed the great potential of this country. But we can still do more. 
we can create a country that will work for us and ensure continued progress as experienced in the last three and a half years. Therefore, I want to place it on record that the path to continuing prosperity for this great nation to achieve true nationalhood lies in forging an acceptable constitution that will recognize the strength in each of the constituent blocks. Such constitution will ensure stable polity. Critically important is realizing that governance is not an end, but a means to an end. The end, of course, in material terms, equals to good life for our people. Shortly after that, the keynote speaker and executive governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasser Arafai, presented his keynote address titled Achieving National Unity in Nigeria Through Peaceful Restructuring. Malam Nasser Arafai started by congratulating the birthday boy on his 80th birthday anniversary celebration, after which he proceeded to his lecture. In his lecture, Malam Nasser Arafai said, Restructuring is necessary in Nigeria to help guide the political system. He added that restructuring should be about the reform and improvement of Nigeria's efficiency. Malam Nasser Arafai said, In order for restructuring to work, more power and authority must be given to all the states of the Federation so they can develop at their own pace. He said restructuring should not just be an ideology, but a matter of effectiveness, efficiency, and sustainability, stressing that the society can only make sense when sound and effective governance with equal opportunities are provided. Structuring presents a nation-building opportunity, giving all the parts of this country a chance to develop their resources and to cooperate creatively. Successful restructuring depends also on our national resolve to protect the idea of common citizenship. The rights guaranteed under the Constitution should be enjoyed by every citizen, not indigenous, not settler, but every citizen, no matter where they reside, and no matter which part of the country they hail from. A restructuring of mentality and values is a key factor in the success of a restructuring of the governance and political structure. I want to conclude again by wishing my leader, my boss, Chief B.C. Akanji, a very happy birthday. I'm I'm grateful for the honor of being invited to be part of this colloquium. I hope I have not stirred any controversy. I thank you for listening. God bless Chief B.C. Akande with long life, in good health, happiness, and prosperity. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. After the keynote lecture, there was a short music interlude by Muri Gongo, who displayed his talking drum scales as the celebrant and guests watched in excitement. Immediately after that, the moderator of the panel discussion, Dr. Usman Bugaje, started by welcoming all to the Collegium, while congratulating Chief Bisiakonde for his meritorious service to the nation and to humanity. Without wasting time, Dr. Usman Bugaje kicked off the session with the first discussant, former Senate President Senator Kenan Namani, who started his address by saying restructuring is realistic and possible without disunity or rift among Nigerians. He said, the legislative and executive arms of government should work together to achieve national unity 
through peaceful restructuring. Any person by way of campaigning who uses restructuring as a, a unique advantage is misleading because every person will like to see Nigeria restructured so that we can become more efficient. I don't think there's any particular political party or individual or individuals that emphasize not restructuring. So because it seems to me that people are trying to use that as an advantage in campaigning. It does not make sense. Everybody wants Nigeria to be restructured. What we should be worrying about is the modalities, how fast it can be done, and the method of doing it, and doing it fast, such that the federal government is not overburdened as it is the case now. Because as it's too fat now, it cannot move fast. It retards our development. So it is necessary that we pay attention to the general understanding of restructuring as a way of developmental progress for the country and for various states. The second discussant, Professor Adigma Gbaji of the Department of Political Science, University of Ibano, started by saying, national unity and global restructuring is not new to countries of the world. Professor Adigma Gbaji said, some key elements can make restructuring work in Nigeria. Elements like protecting human rights, protecting lives and property, and creating an authentic democratic system. He highlighted some issues that affect nation building. The whole question of can you restructure for national unity in a country of diversities as Nigeria when you don't have thoroughgoing democracy and the various things that a mature democracy, a meaningful democracy offers, that the culture of restraint, which is the hallmark of democracy. Can you have restructuring for national unity when you, you really do not have a strong culture of restraint, strong institutions? to enforce and ensure restraint. People say that in some of our countries now, including Nigeria, more or less what we have is the elements of a democracy by deception, not true democracy. And so, to the question, can we have meaningful national unity in a context, and of course, meaningful restructuring in a context in which we are still battling with the, with the essences of democracy. The third discussion, Senator Ulu Aditumbi said, before the issue of restructuring can come up, there is the need for focus first on economic fundamentals to enlighten Nigerians more about what needs to be done to achieve national unity through peaceful restructuring. More on economic fundamentals the better it is for all of us to understand the reason why certain responsibilities ought to be located in certain jurisdictions. It is not just an exercise in power sharing or power to promote the economy, to create jobs, and to, to improve the livelihoods of people. For example, it's been said that poverty is worsening in Nigeria. A figure of over 70% is currently being quoted. The truth of the matter is that behind that statistics are human beings that are resident in states. Therefore, the earlier we realize that states are the future of Nigeria, and therefore they should be supported with the necessary powers and instruments of governance in order for them to, to fulfill their mandate of political and economic management of uh, units of the Federation be better for us. In conclusion, the moderator of the discussion session, Dr. Usman Bugaje, commended the keynote speaker, Malam Nasser Arafai, and the three discussants for a job well done, adding that it is glaring that the issue of restructuring is not an option, but a necessity for Nigeria. The Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Shibajo, who was the chairman of the occasion in his remark, described the celebrant Chief Bisiakonde as a distinct leader 
who is a good example to follow. Professor Yemi Shibajo also said some things about the theme of the discussion, achieving national unity through peaceful restructuring. Vice President Yemi Shibajo said he agrees that restructuring is eminent, but how to implement the restructuring process in Nigeria should be the real question. I don't think there should be much argument about the fact that we do need restructuring of our, of our country one way or the other. Question, of course, is the focus. How should this be done? In what way? One of the key things is that in order to achieve any kind of restructuring, we need stronger states. What does the concept of stronger states mean? It means two things. The first is what states must do for themselves. By that, by that I mean the three arms of government. What the legislature, the executive, and the, uh, and the judiciary must do, working proactively and creatively together. I want to congratulate Baba again uh, and to say that your birthday always gives us an opportunity to advance uh, some of our views, some of our political views. I want to pray that the Almighty God will preserve your life, that you will not only live uh, to 90, you will live to 120. <laughs> and uh, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, all of your struggles for, the, for all of your struggles for the Yoruba race and for our nation, you will see the fruits and you will also benefit from those fruits and you'll see those fruits in your lifetime. In Immediately after that, the kick cotton session followed. The birthday boy was joined by all other dignitaries led by Vice President Emiya Shibajo. Give me M. M. Give me I. I. We need a good day. Happy birthday, sir. In continuation of the 80th birthday anniversary celebration of Chief Bisi Akonde, on Thursday, the 18th of January, 2019, a grand reception was held at the hometown of the celebrant, Ilarogun, in Oshun State. The celebrant, Chief Bisi Akonde, made his grand entry, accompanied by former governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Raouf Arigbeshola, and the executive governor of Oshun State, Mr. Guigao Yetola, that danced into the hall in a spectacular way. The chairman of the organizing committee of the Chief Bisiakonde at 80 celebration, Dr. Charles Akintola, said, The history and growth of Nigeria cannot be complete without mentioning Chief Bisiakonde. He praised the celebrant and thanked God for the opportunity to serve. This was followed by a tribute session in which all the grandchildren of the celebrant in a recorded clip thanked the celebrant, Chief Bisiakonde, for being the best granddad ever and always finding time out of his hectic shadow for the family. In his goodwill message, Oba Abdul Wahab Oyedotun, the Orogun of Ilarogun in Oshun State, commended the celebrant for bringing such a huge number of prominent Nigerians to Ilarogun. He also congratulated Chief Besiakonde for his meritorious leadership qualities, adding that he is a man who has natural love for his hometown, Ilarogun. Former Governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Rauf Arigbeshala, in his tribute, thanked the celebrant for being a father to him when things were very tough for him. Ogbeni Rauf Arigbeshala said the celebrant was the first person to give him the idea of becoming governor in 2002. And ever since, he treated him like a father. He ended with prayers for the celebrant. <laughs> The session was ended with a short interlude by a cultural dance group. The toast was conducted by Senator Professor Adeyeyi, who said Chief Bisiakonde is not just an enigma, but a true leader who committed himself to good leadership. He thanked him for paving the way for other politicians to follow. 
two different radio journalists came to me and said, what would you say about the Enigma Disney today? And I said, what did you just say? Did you say Enigma? He said, yes. Do you know the meaning of Enigma? <laughs> enigma means a riddle, a conundrum, a quandary, a question mark, something you don't quite understand. Why will anybody who makes any pretense to intellect say that you don't understand this here Unless, of course, becomes the what the Apostle Paul was referring to when he said, if anybody says our gospel is hidden, it is because it's of a corrupt mind. No! This here is not an enigma. It's not a perplexity. This here is not a conundrum. It is easy to understand for those who depth of intellect and clarity of conscience and morality can say, here comes a good man following him. The executive governor of Oshun State, Mr. Agboye Gaoye, to line his remark, thanked everyone present. He said, Chief Bisekonde is a detribalized Nigerian who associates with all ethnic groups across the country as he presents issues of unity and progress. I must use this opportunity to thank you so much for being there for us at all times. We pray that... Uh, we live long to celebrate many more years in service to our state and the nation. We still need to draw so much from our experience. And in line with uh, the KBC, I pray that by the grace of Almighty God, we'll be able to celebrate to 90, can't 90, 100, 110, 120, and above. God bless you. Just before the birthday cake was cut, the celebrant, Chief Bisakonde, expressed gratitude and specially thanked everyone for coming to rejoice with him. <laughs> The birthday cake was cut afterwards as supervised by the wife of the Oshu State Governor, Mrs. Kafayats Uyetola. To bring the event to an end, Fuji music icon King Aide Shao serenaded guests with very good music all night long. <laughs> From Biscon Communications, it's eighty hearty cheers to Elder Statesman, Chief Bisiakonde. Happy birthday, sir.